learners welcome to another case study session based on a travel intermediary last time we have discussed about sita travels which is a leading destination management company majorly focusing on inbound tourism in india and south asia in this case study session we will focus about a company which is older bigger and diverse this company has deep roots in history rather sometimes become synonymous with the history of global travel agency business yes you all have rightly guessed today we will discuss about company thomas cook india group the main learning objectives of this case study session is to give you a insight about history of thomas cook india group which has made a mark on the tourism sector of india to make you learn about the profile of the company and factors of its growth like vision mission and organization structure also to make you understand about the different business units and departments of thomas cook india group and to help you to assess its human resource and corporate social responsibility strategies so let's begin with the company profile thomas cook india group is a leading integrated travel and travel related financial service company in the country offering a broad spectrum of services the word integrated travel and travel related services here highlights that it caters to a diverse set of tourism and related services to its customer base thomas cook india grew span in 29 countries across five continents it has a team of over 9791 employee and it operates in 11 leading b2c and b2b brands under its corporate umbrella brand similar to sita travel company the beginning of this company is outside india and rather initial history of this company resonate with the history of travel agency business across the world so let us study about the history of thomas cook and how it gets its indian connection thomas cook india group has its roots in the british travel firm thomas cook and son it is imperative for us to know about this british company first to have a clear understanding of later developments The British company Thomas Cook and Son is a result of hard work of a visionary and a passionate traveler named Thomas Cook. Let us study how and when he started this British travel firm which changed the definition and dimension of travel across the globe. Thomas Cook was born in year 1808 in a small town of Melbourne, England, but would be best known for his time living in Leicester. He finished his schooling at age of 10 and began working. often for only a penny a day to help support his family throughout his life thomas cook worked as a baptist preacher carpenter furniture maker printer publisher political advocate and travel organizer after seeing the effect of drunkenness at an early age cook believed that alcohol abuse was one of the major roots of many social problem faced by england during victorian era He spent much of his time and talent supporting the temperance movement in England for rest of his life. In fact, Cook's beginning as a travel organizer would come about because of his beliefs in the society to which he belonged. This is photo of Thomas Cook which is known as the father of travel agency business. In 1841 it which was a milestone year in life of thomas cook he arranged for a special train to take over 500 people from leicester to lockbourne to attend a temperance meeting for 1 shilling passengers got round trip train travel band entertainment and afternoon tea and food which was enough this excursion he organized on no profit and no loss basis the main aim of this excursion was to keep people busy for one day and to preach them about the different aspect of his society then in 1845 he organized his first railway excursion for profit and the following year he would begin offering trips outside england to scotland a country that captivated cook and would remain one of his favorite destinations his trips kept getting bigger and in 1851 thomas got the chance to organize rail travel and travel accommodation for people from the provinces to travel to london to attend the great exhibition orchestrated by prince albert thomas cook transported over 1 lakh 50000 people to london during the 6 month of the exhibition this was one of the largest event in england and one of the largest movement of people within britain in year 1855 thomas cook started operating its international tour packages the international exposition in paris 
provided the perfect target for Thomas Cook's first international expedition. The steadily rising incomes, the increased aspiration of the middle class, also the prosperity bought by the Industrial Revolution convinced Cook that there would be a market for trips from London to Paris and then to the rest of the world. And so, in a very innovative manner, he offered a complete holiday package comprising of travel, accommodation, sightseeing and meals. For the first time and hence because of his this innovative idea of packaging the whole holiday, he is known as father of travel agency business. In 1865, Thomas Cook opens a travel agency in Fleet Street, central London. It coincides with the opening of the London Underground, the world's first subterranean railway. In 1874, to lessen the hassles of currency change, Cook's circular note was introduced. This was the prototype of the traveler's checks and it provided a safe and easy way to carry funds abroad. During 1880s, the company also started operations for military transport and postal services for England and Egypt during this period. Hence, due to the reasons stated above, in 1881, the company set up its first office in Mumbai, India. And from here, the story of Thomas Cook India started. From 1881 to 1978, Thomas Cook operated as a branch office from Mumbai. At that time, it was known as Bombay. In year 1978, this branch office was converted into an Indian company with the name Thomas Cook India Limited. So from a branch of an MNC, now it has become an Indian company. The company made its first public issue in February 1983 and commenced operation in Mauritius in year 2000. In the same year, they acquired the Sri Lanka business from Thomas Cook Overseas Limited, United Kingdom. In the year 2006, Thomas Cook India Limited acquired LKP Forex Limited and Travel Corporation India Private Limited, which was a major deal at that time. In 2012, Fairbridge Capital Mauritius Limited acquired Thomas Cook India and by this way Thomas Cook India became a part of Fairflex Group Canada. In 2013, company acquires 74% stake in Quest Corporation, previously known as the IKEA Human Capital Solutions Private Limited. In 2014, company announced merger with Sterling Holidays Resort in a cash and stock deal. In 2015, which was another important year for Thomas Cook, Thomas Cook Lanka Private Limited acquired Lux Asia Private Limited, which was a Sri Lanka based regional destination management company and handles inbound tourists from global generating markets to its destinations. Year 2015 was also a very important milestone year for Thomas Cook because it is this year when Thomas Cook India Limited announced the acquisition of Keone Travel India Private Limited, a travel operator in India, and Keone Travel China Limited, a travel operator in Hong Kong. If you remember the case study of Sita, we have studied that during the year 2015, Sita became part of Thomas Cook. So it was this merger which was very crucial for Thomas Cook as well as other companies which the company has merged. In October 2017, company completed acquisition of Keone Global DMS Network across 22 countries and 5 continents. In the same year, company concluded acquisition of Forex and travel business of Tata Capital. In year 2018, Thomas Cook India Group approved the acquisition of a 24% strategic stake in Travel Junkie Solutions Private Limited. In year 2019, the company acquired 51% stake in DI Holding Limited. With all these merger and acquisition starting from the year 1983 to till date that is 2019, Thomas Cook has emerged as a strong and leading travel management company which has its headquarters in Asia Pacific region. After studying history of Thomas Cook Group, it is important for us to understand what is the present business size of Thomas Cook. Thomas Cook India is focused on creating enduring stakeholder value since its corporation in year 1978. Over the decades, the group has grown by pursuing both organic and inorganic opportunities and currently own and operate an array of well-known travel services labels both in India and around the world, serving both B2B that is business to business and B2C that is business to customer segments. The entire group can be divided into three major business segments. The first is travel and related services, the second is financial services and the third is strategic and portfolio investments. Thomas Cook Group has in year 2018 total transaction around 3.4 million. 
and out of this 3.4 million total transaction 1.2 million are related with foreign exchange transactions and 2.3 million are related with travel transactions it has issued around 2 lakh visas and the total load value on foreign exchange cards is approx dollar 417 million all this show the magnitude of this travel group and how huge it is operating it has around 11 b2c and b2b brands which operate under the group umbrella brand of thomas cook thomas cook india has achieved so much success and thus the success is based on the core value and vision of this group thomas cook india group believes that their growth result of their customer first approach providing customers an unforgettable experience has always been their top priority the unwavering focus on customer centricity has made tcil or the thomas cook india group a preferred travel partner for all his patrons the main vision of the company is creating everlasting memories and along with this vision they have a core value which they call pride this pride is an acronym and in that acronym p stands for pioneering our future r stands for respect for individuals and united as a team i stands for integrity that is fair work d stands for delighting their customers and e stands for excellence in whatever work they do with this mission and values the company aims to achieve the vision the mission of the company is based on four core pillars and this mission is in itself a 360 degree approach of the company out of the four pillars the first pillar is customer centricity they believe to offer a broad array of products and value added services to customer they believe that human resource of this company will help them to achieve their success and thus consider the human resource as an asset for the company technology is the third important pillar keeping in mind the changes in the global environment and the fast paced changes in it the company has leveraged technology also they have created new growth engines and for that company has a fully interactive digital channel a responsive website as well as mobile app for travel and foreign exchange and the last and the most important pillar is innovation the company believes to continually evolve the group has launched many innovative travel offerings and packages and focus on a scalable go to market strategy this picture signifies the thomas cook group thomas cook group can be divided into three further sectors as we have discussed and these are further divided into different brands which are a part of this umbrella brand for foreign exchange they have thomas cook and sotc their outbound travel ledger part is taken care by thomas cook sotc and kyoni hong kong their my segment is taken care by thomas cook and sotc their corporate travel is taken care by thomas cook sotc and kyoni hong kong their domestic travel is taken care by thomas cook and sotc their inbound is taken care by travel corporation of india sita distant frontiers and go vacations and the main dms they have are asian trails a light trip pro desert adventures private safari south africa private safari east africa and lux asia and the portfolio investments consist of dei quest sterling and other brand with this 11 brands and the umbrella brand of thomas cook the group works with an extensive network and they call it the omni channel strategy it means that they are present everywhere The group has an expensive customer facing retail presence comprising of branches, airport outlets, corporate and back end offices that supports uninterrupted customer services. As on March 31st 2019, the group has total 660 plus retail touch points. The group has around 313 branch offices. It has around 119 franchisee. It work with around 150 preferred sales agent. and they have their foreign exchange counters at 25 airports this figure show that it has a pan globe presence it has 29 international offices as well 
With such a vast network and a company of such a big magnitude, the organization structure of the company should be very stringent as well as strong. The organization structure of the company comprises of board of director, which is duly constituted with proper balance of executive directors, non-executive directors, independent directors, and a woman director. And further, there is a traditional three-tier organization structure of top management, middle management, front level management that helps company to achieve its objectives. This is the figure which show the board of directors of the company. This is the picture of Mr. Madhav Menon. He is chairman and managing director of Thomas Cook India Limited. He is being supported by the four important heads of the different business unit. First is Mr. Mahesh Ayer, executive director and chief executive officer, Thomas Cook India Limited, taking care of Thomas Cook. Then Mr. Vishal Suri, he is managing director with SOTC Travel Limited. Then Mr. Deepak Deva, he is managing director for Travel Corporation India, that is the inbound segment of Thomas Cook. And Devasis Nandi, president and group CFO, Thomas Cook India Limited. And after that also, there are around 9,000 employees that work together to achieve the objectives and vision of the company. To become a leader in the segment, the company has a diverse product portfolio. They deal with almost all the aspects of travel being outbound, inbound, domestic and even different aspects of a travel company. They have a ledger travel outbound division, they have a ledger travel domestic division, they have destination management specialist handling traffic to India, they have destination management specialist division which is handling other international inbounds, they have a MICE division, they have a business travel division, they have an e-business division, they also have a visa and passport service division and the most important the foreign exchange division. We will discuss about all these one by one. The Leisure Travel Outbound Division is the division that caters to the citizen of India who want to travel outside India. It further consists of group as well as individual tours. So an individual wants to travel outside India have an opportunity to travel in a group package as well as he has an opportunity to travel independently as offered by Thomas Cook. It has tourists traveling to foreign destinations from India as well as from Hong Kong. Being an integrated player, the group act as a one-stop destination for varied customer groups looking to travel abroad with ease and comfort. The group is a leader in this segment in the top tier cities in India and are widening their presence across tier 2 and tier 3 cities with dedicated offerings. Driven by robust and continued consumption, outbound ledger travel exhibited a strong growth during the fiscal year 2018. The another important division in leisure travel is domestic. That is, this is the division that helps citizens of India travel within India. Group domestic leisure segment engages customers with personalized and group travel holidays within India, delivered by Thomas Cook as well as SOTC brands. The group incubated this segment and forayed into the domestic market in 2012. And since then, has been successfully catering to the rapidly increasing growth of local tourism in India. The group has leveraged emerging themes such as spiritual tourism, adventure and sports tourism which have garnered larger interest from the target audiences. So they have launched special packages for Kum this year. They have also launched special packages keeping in mind the increasing adventure freak Indians who want to explore the nature and other aspects of tourism within India. The third important is Destination Management Specialist. This is that division of Thomas Cook which helps foreigners to come and explore India. The group's India inbound segment is a B2B business with a network of 1500 partners catering to customers belonging to 100 nationalities who travel to India, Nepal, Bhutan and Sri Lanka. The UK, Russia, Germany, France and US are the primary source market for Thomas Cook Group's inbound business. The inbound division of Thomas Cook Group is branded under Travel Corporation India Limited and is one of India's foremost and largest companies operating in this space. The group operates under three brands further which are Sita, TCI and Distant Frontiers. The company administered their inbound business across two major categories, the charter business based out of Goa and the ledger packages. The ledger business is further divided between FIT, that is Free Independent Traveler Group, cruises, incentives as well as education travel. 
The another important division of thermoscope group is destination management specialist and it is that division that handles the international inbound. The acquisition of entities from Keoni group in June 2017 has helped this group to attain a truly global stature. As a part of this acquisition, the group added leading DMS entities like Asian Trails, Desert Adventures, Alai T Pro, Private Safaris from both Eastern Africa as well as Southern Africa under its network. The key consideration for the acquisition of the foreign entities included the experience of the management, strength of the brands in the region of operations, and the synergies these business can driven under the group's umbrella. The next most important division of Thomas Cook Group is mice, and it is a very important aspect to understand that Thomas Cook was among the initial companies in the industry to decipher the growing opportunity in the mice segment by working with end consumer in mind. The company have learned the art of mice and transform the paradigm within which it operates. In an industry that function with a standard set list of n masses corporate travel the company assured in specially curated customer experiences that is translated into business value for the customer the next important division is business travel business travel vertical caters to all business travel needs ticketing and allied non air services such as hotel bookings for more than 500 large mid and small corporates At the consumer end, the group offers services under the Thomas Cook, SOTC, and Keoni Hong Kong brands. Keeping in mind the digitalization of travel, the company has also focused on e-business division. The e-business team is focused on providing digital solutions by utilizing real-time and research-driven data within the aim to improve efficiencies return on investment and customer experiences during these times when everybody is hooked with the mobiles and they are already booking everything through their mobiles the company has identified that this is the right time to diverge into e business and they have also started with their own mobile application a dynamic website and has given facility to tourists to book different services online only The efforts have played a significant role in embedding digitalization into the organization DNA and thus today offers an online portfolio across domestic and international holidays for an exchange visa flights and hotels so you can book any services even from the website of the company as well being in outbound ledger visa and passport is another important services which this group caters to Being an end-to-end -end travel service provider, the group is equipped with expertise and knowledge to provide seamless visa and passport processing services to customer. Catering to a wide range of customer across corporate as well as leisure travel, their niche service in this segment gives them a strong competitive edge. Their relationship with embassies and high commissions combined with a stringent quality check of application enhances the comfort of customer while applying for visas. The most core work of Thomas Cook is foreign exchange. The group leads the non-bank foreign exchange space in India and are the first non-banking institution to have been granted an AD second that is authorized distributor second license by the Reserve Bank of India. They are also the only non-bank AD second license holder to be a SWIFT member with an in-house dealing room. They were the first in the non-banking category to issue their own prepaid travel card in India to facilitate better customer travel and convenience. The forex business is a combination of foreign exchange businesses of Thomas Cook India Limited, SOTC, Thomas Cook Lanka, Thomas Cook Mauritius operations and Thomas Cook Foreign Exchange and is one of the two core businesses of the company that is the first is foreign exchange and the other is travel. With such a diverse product line The group needs a army of human resource who can help to cater to all the needs and to satisfy the demands of the tourist and this is very well known by the Thomas Cook group the caring human resource policies help the group to stay ahead of the market dynamics and fulfill their brand promise with continuous learning and evolution the group focuses on their human resource and pay a lot of value and attention to human resource The group believe in fostering a collaborative and safe work environment for their people and ensure that employee continue to engage as a part of their family for an enriching experience. It has around 9791 employees which represent across 55 nationalities. 
The main area of focus related with human resource is training and development of human resource, employee engagement policies, and succession planning process. We will be discussing about these in detail further. The training and development. The group believes in training their workforce to align them to the changing needs of the market. They believe that one thing which is constant is change. And so, to make their employee equipped with all the skills, they believe in their continuous training and development. This involves both product and process trainings, apart from skill and behavioral development sessions. The another important area on which they focus is employee engagement. The employee should feel happy and a part of the family. And for that, many activities are carried out. The group undertakes regular employee engagement initiative across the organization and at a pan-India level. Every year, the company has a unique goal for its human resource as well. While the last fiscal year concentrated, that is the year 2018, concentrated on improving interaction through interesting activities among the employees, the focus of financial year 2020 is employee health and wellness. This objective shows that how much importance is given to human resource by the Thomas Cook Group. Next and the last important area related with human resource planning is succession planning process. Succession planning means that a company when chalk out the career plan and the ladder for the employee which is working in the company. And it is very important to have a succession planning for a company which is very big in size as well as their scope. Continuity of leadership is one of the key focus area of the group. For retaining key talent, the group deploys long-term incentives, stock options and better compensations. For succession planning, the group conduct behavioral event interviews and utilize HR analytics to find the best fit for succession and understand each person's organizational fit. After studying the main policies and the initiatives taken by the Thomas Cook Group for their human resource, we should also understand what the company is doing for the society at large. Because when such a huge company, they definitely have impacts on the society as well. And in this area also, Thomas Cook has proved them as leader. They have a special division that take care of their corporate social responsibility and along with their financial statement, they also publish the different corporate social responsibility efforts they have taken in a financial year. The group believe that it, they are not only to enrich people's life by fulfilling their travel dreams but also reach out to those in need as part of their corporate social responsibility initiative. The major area in which this company work is the renal patients in India. Till date, there this program has reached 15 Indian states with 370 total dialysis machine installed free of cost and it is used at 70 dialysis centers and has offered 99,000 free and affordable dialysis sessions to rural poor population. This all highlights that how hard this company is working for their CSR initiative. Another important area of their CSR initiative is to work closely with Government of India Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. To keep the tourist places clean, they are working to provide basic facilities to tourists and for that they have already maintained the prefabricated toilets unit installed at Kandhal Road, Uti, which is a very famous tourist spot. The facility is helping in promoting and maintaining hygiene at the tourist spot and this will be executed at other important tourist sites also. No doubt Thomas Cook has come up a long way. They have seen many ups and downs and this journey was full of challenges and it will further be full of challenges. There will be certain important areas where the company needs to work and they have to strengthen their core objective as well as they have to safeguard themselves from the weaknesses and the threats in the market. In order to understand that, we will study the different challenges this company has faced and how they have overcome. The first challenge which this company has faced is the economic risk. Consumer spending power keep on shifting. To minimize the impact of the systematic risks arising from macroeconomic slowdown, the group has ventured into diverse business segments other than leisure travel and business travel. Then the risk of credit. Any default or delay in payments may adverse affect their finance. 
thus a well defined balanced and comprehensive client policy driven contracts and business dealings in addition to the finance team evaluation of financial capabilities of big clients and channel partners are being done for next year risk is also important risk the group deals in number of currencies and run the risk of unfavorable movement in any currency leading to financial loss the group keeps a close watch on all currency movements and enters hedging contracts to protect margins competition is a continuous risk due to stiff competition and price wars the group operating margin can adversely affected but leadership presence in most markets help in driving competitive advantage while the pricing strategy of the group is based on healthy target margins integration is also a risk because it has around 11 big brands working together investment in diverse business in divergent geographies require harmonious integration of people asset process and system this risk can be taken care by having a senior management which have a successful track records in managing acquisition and integration additionally the group has recently streamlined business segment into three main verticals for greater focus and agility in business operations In the end we can sum up that this case study has given us a idea how big a company can be and still with correct management policies and a focused consumer centric approach a big company can be managed successfully we have taken the case study of thomas cook because it resonate with the history of travel with globally as well as within india We don't want to promote a particular company or a brand but yet the choice of this case study was to make you acquaint with a large management company having different brands and different product portfolio. The main aim is to give our learners a analytical power so that they can further study and analyze different companies and can balance their theoretical as well as practical skills. Thank you and keep learning.